So I had a question in my mind to ask about the comparison or the scale of Lebanese hash power uh, mm. compared to the global hash power, and you already answered <laughs> it. It's almost nothing, mm. and this is uh, disappointing to a certain extent. But to, back to uh, 2019, where were those mining farms centralized? Were they in North, in Akkar, in Tripoli? Mm. Were they in Balbek, in Hermel, West Bika, Juni, Beirut, Khalde? Mm -hmm. Reaching uh, south, uh, Naura, mm. where were they uh, located or centralized? Mm. If there are certain mm. uh, centralization. So in the early days, when it was possible to mine from the main grid, you would find very small scale farms scattered mm. th throughout the country. As the grid collapsed and people kind of gravitated towards sources of power that were affordable or economically viable, it became more geographically centralized. Now the Bakar is the center south of the country, definitely the Shouf where this hydropower uh, is, still, mm. is still running. So basically at this point people are either mining off of hydropower, mm. whether that be in the Shouf, or anecdotally, I haven't seen any of them, but I have heard stories about private individuals installing small hydropower turbines in rivers and mining from them. Obviously, they are operating in what you might call a legal grey zone. Is this the way of the Lebanese uh, people in adapting with the situation? <laughs> Resilience, yes. <laughs> Always figuring yeah. out how to yeah. survive in the best way. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, certainly, I guess it's an example of that, yeah.